What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the winner of this week's Patreon poll for voice play, which is I Knew You Were Trouble and As Long As You Love Me. I believe this is a mashup. Uh, the arrangement was done by Lane, so I can't wait to see what he has done with this one and it features the incredibly talented Miss Rachel Potter. Uh, I believe this was quite an early year one of theirs. Uh, I think that this was around from memory of what people have told me around the same time, possibly as uh, Phantom of the Opera, which this might be their first collaboration with Rachel Potter. Might be wrong on that, but I think that might be the case. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, but either way, I can't wait to get into this and see what they do with these two incredible songs and how they mash them together or what they, what they do with them. So please, Check out the original video linked in the description below. Go and give Voice Play some likes, some comments, and some love in general. Subscribe to Voice Play and subscribe to Rachel. And we're gonna get into this reaction. This is I Knew You Were Trouble slash As Long As You Love Me by Voice Play and Rachel Potter. Once upon a time, a few mistakes ago, I was in your sights, you got me all alone. You found me, you found me, you found me, 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 me. I feel like already, okay, I might be getting ahead of myself here. I'm sure that he's going to uh, do more as the song goes along. But I feel like in this first little part here, I can see how far Lane has come as a vocal percussionist. Because I feel like possibly back here, he was just a little bit more green than like the stuff that he does now that's like sounds legitimately like recording equipment, it sounds legitimately like instruments. Uh, this, this, like th those first few pops there, it actually sounded like beatboxing, which is a rare one for him. But like I said, I'm sure by the end of this, he's going to be doing mind blowing things. Uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just interesting to see a younger voice play and see what they're doing there. Also baby Jeff with the short hair just always makes me happy. But yeah, let's keep going. Hey. I like what they did in the background there, how it was just a lot of art, art noises and then eventually it kind of naturally progressed into them singing the backup if that makes any sense at all. Like it was just them kind of making some little noises and by the end of it, they were almost singing along with her or doing like a background echo for her, which was really cool. Jeff just showing there that he's always had it. Just this, the bass drop there was just enough to give me wobbles. Lane just showing there exactly what I was talking about when I said he'll probably go more later. Yeah, yeah, he went more. That was wicked. Um, so shame on me now, how through these sorry, two yeah. places I've never been. Now I'm lying on the cold hard ground. I know that the megaphone was probably just for the video clip, but I still love the effect they put on her voice there. By the way, Rachel sounded incredible this whole time. Like it, it, it goes without saying she is phenomenally and disgustingly talented in the best way. I, I love her. I adore her. She is incredible. Uh, but yeah, she sounded amazing singing this. Um, I love, I, I was, I, I was so into Taylor Swift with her earlier stuff and right up until probably the bad blood stuff. And it wasn't, it wasn't anything particularly that made me like less, like listen to it less. It's not that I didn't like those songs. It just kind of fell off my radar and I haven't heard pretty much anything Taylor Swift in 
a while now, like a, a fair while. But this just makes me go, God, I love Taylor Swift because I used to really love her stuff. Uh, she's just such happy music. But yeah, I, I have not heard her stuff in forever because I'm not a big radio person. I kind of listen to my Spotify playlists over and over again. But yeah, um, it just makes me realize how much I love uh, love Taylor. <laughs> He'll never see you cry Pretends he doesn't know That he's the reason why You're drowning You're drowning You're drowning Man, I, I'm sorry I'm, so, I'm pausing so much in this, you guys It's happening it, I, I say this in every one of my videos I should start giving a disclaimer at the beginning I pause a lot I love you guys Please watch the original So you see it without all my pauses But things come into my head And I have to get them out uh, Rachel, in this section here specifically But with the whole song so far She's been doing so her own unique spin and twist on it. Just the small changes she's making in the way that things are said and kind of her performance of it makes it so her own and it's so awesome. You're drowning, you're drowning, you're drowning. Now I heard you move on from the whispers on the street. A new notch in your belt is all I'll ever be. And now I see, now I see, now I see. Guys, you guys, it has taken me to this point in the video. I'm, I'm embarrassed to say this. It's taken me to this point in the video to realize that it's not Rachel doing those big ah uh, notes in the chorus. Is that Earl doing that? I think it's Earl doing it from lots of things. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I think it's Earl doing it because I can see his back mouth in the background kind of being a bit, which seems like he's doing that uh, noise. Um, just a, this is what I see in the background. Um, you can just see teeth. Um, but yeah, because it is blurred. But I think it's him doing those R ah notes. I might be wrong. I might be wrong and it might just be that for some reason with the way they've done the video clip for it, they haven't had Rachel move her mouth for those bits. Uh, and it might have been her doing it. But I'm, I'm reasonably sure that's Earl, which is shocking that it took me this long to kind of pick that out. Um, but yeah, it, it's amazing to me though that so far Earl, Ellie and Tony have taken like a backseat on this one. All the boys have really. It's kind of a Rachel uh, spotlight at the moment, which is really, really cool to see. I love everything about you. You're imperfectly perfect. Everyone ditching for beauty, but just scratching the surface. Lost time is never found. Could the DJ please reverse it? In life, we pay for change. Let's make every second worth it. Anything can work if you work and people say you don't deserve it, then don't give in. Because hate may win some battles, but love wins in the end. You sound just like the sun when the moon and the stars reflect your light. <laughs> Don't just keep singing after that. My guy just went off. What? <laughs> A full lane rap verse and then straight back into beatboxing. Are you kidding me? Sir, mate, you need to calm down. Oh my God. I, I, I'm going back to the full section again. It makes my heart so happy when they even have Lane sing like one sentence in a song and for him to do a full like rap verse and then just go back to his beatboxing just to showcase how flipping amazing he is. And look at his face. He's just, he's just so cute. He's just got, I don't know what it is. Like it's not quite golden retriever energy, but he just makes me happy. Oh. Oh. 
Everything about you, you're imperfectly perfect. Everyone's itching for beauty, but just scratching the surface. Lost time is never found. Could the DJ please reverse it? In life, we pay for change. Let's make every second worth it. Anything can work. Give your work, and people say you don't deserve it, then don't give in. Cause hate may win some battles, but love wins in the end. You sound just like the sun when the moon and the stars reflect your light. <laughs> That was already such a cool breakdown without Rachel coming in with that sick note at the end of it. I was, I was like absolutely vibing to the song going off and then they did this breakdown and I was like, this is sick. And then Rachel's going to come in with that note. Now I'm lying on my cold hard ground. What trouble when you walk in? I know you. What trouble on the ground? What trouble when you walk in? I know you. On the ground. Yeah. La 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 just put it out there. I'm not sure if I was correct in saying that this was their first collaboration with Rachel. I think people have said that to me in the past. I might be wrong, but it is definitely one of the early ones at least. And if it is one of the early ones or if it was the first one, I can see why they kept bringing it back because that song went off. And for it, if you would, if you had said to me at the start of it, that the main singers in the song, the people with the spotlight on them are going to be Rachel and Lane. I would have lost my mind. Um, and looking back, I'm sure people have said it to me in the comments at one stage, possibly on my reaction to them doing Hamilton when I said about the rapping, but my brain is like a sieve and I just forget things. So I was not ready for that at all. And it made me so happy in my soul. I'm going to be listening to this so much. Uh, that was absolutely wicked. I, I love this one. That's that's incredible. God, I love Rachel. God, I love voice play. They are just so, so good. Guys, go in the link in the description. Go to Voice Play's channel. Give it this video a like and a comment. Subscribe to Voice Play. Follow the link in their video, which will link you to Rachel Potter. Subscribe to her and check out her videos because she's awesome. Uh, and also come back here. Leave a like and a comment on this video because it helps me out heaps. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that helps out even more. And check me out over on Patreon where I do these weekly polls for voice play, home free and other artists. Uh, I also do two weekly TV show reactions. I do a monthly movie reaction. Uh, this month uh, we are doing Boomdoc. Oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it. it it's, it's, it's a cult classic movie that I've never seen before. Um, but well, it, it, it's definitely ahead in the voting polls at the moment. So I believe that that's what we're going to end up doing. Um, I think it's Boomdoc Saints possibly. Sorry, my memory again, sieve. Um, but yes, and then in October, we will be doing two separate Halloween themed movie reactions. One that's a family friendly one and one that's a true horror movie. So I can't wait for that. And I do monthly live streams. I also do, uh, at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed monthly request on the channel here. So check me out over on Patreon. I will see you guys in the next reaction video tomorrow. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in. And I'll see you next time. Bye.